Hello everybody, you are with us now as we're just moving off from a very remote and very pretty part of Gloucestershire and we have picked up a car for the magazine. Ooh, Subaru, nice. Um, but that is not the car we picked up unfortunately. We have picked up something that is rather more special as in some respects, certainly older and um, it's something that we are planning on restoring to its former 1989 glory and these roads are so narrow and I'm in VOD the Audi A8 which is so wide so it's a bit of a challenge um, but oh that's a box door undercover there shame and um, Ian our features editor is in the driving seat ready to go we couldn't park by the car so we're just loitering here is it still working is it ready to go any guesses what it might be? Small and French, I'm currently blocking the road. Get your skates on, sunshine. There we go. It has got a couple of issues with it. We've got a head gasket to change. We've got a couple other fun bits and bobs. The paintwork is going to come up really nicely. It's Shetland blue or Shetland green. I'm colorblind, I don't know. There's the uh, former keeper or the person who's selling on behalf of the former keeper. And we're now going to be driving back to Sirencester. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but we are atop a lovely hill with an amazing view over Gloucester. This is the best way to view Gloucester from a safe distance. And uh, we are gonna poodle along, put some petrol in it and see if we get back to Sirencester in one piece. Guy, he's really going like the clappers. Anyhow, another update soon. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Sounds pretty raucous. Yep, hooligan, like the 80s. Go, go, go. Can a 3.7 litre V8 with 260 horsepower once upon a time keep up with a Renault 5 with no petrol in it, with less than 50 horsepower from factory and a blowing head gasket in a 50 limit road, which we're obviously obeying completely. We are in fact obeying completely. Um, and the answer is at the moment, not so much. Is that a small French car ahead? I think it is. We're going into the historic town of Brinkworth. So Ian's just gone in to uh, find the fuel and pay for the fuel and stuff. And I've never seen him smile so much. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen him smile, but he's smiling like a Cheshire cat with the broken exhaust on the car. He's very excited about it. So the uh, challenge is to get the 20 miles or so back to Sirencester in one piece without dying. So uh, we'll do some updates shortly. There he goes, about to get into his steed. First question is, will it start at a petrol station? Bear in mind this car has a manual choke. It has no central locking, certainly no remote central locking. It has no power steering. It has a sunroof, but that's about as exciting as it gets. It's clutches on the way out exhaust is on the way out but that's part of the joy of driving old French cars They're, uh, it's always a bit of a mystery whether it's going to survive We're determined to keep up with this Renault 5 now listen to it go it doesn't have cancelling oh it smells so petrolly as well so it's tootling along there let's see if we can zoom in a little bit is that going to work yes it is awesome we suggested that Ian wear a yellow Pro Detailer hoodie, uh, which are available in very limited numbers by request, um, so that if there is an accident, we can distinguish the bits of Ian with the bits of Renault. And now we're going to be going up a hill past a well-known dogging spot in Sirencest, well, in, in Gloucestershire. So, um, was a bit of a highlight. Clear left, clear left. Oh, I grounded out there because it's an A8 and it grounds out a lot. You should see my sump. Oh, the scratches. Can we hear it better than the window open? Yes, we can.
<laughs> I think there might be frustration with the VW Polo, it's a 40 and it's barely maintaining 25. I think it is a five speed gearbox in that. I think he's either in first or second. There's a certain amount of smoke coming out the back of that. I think he's gone for third and is now regretting it. There's a lot of smoke coming out of that. It's definitely running on the rich side. What are you trying to tell me there? He's telling me that he's going that way. And so I shall go that way. And we shall go this way. And we shall talk and make merry. Has he broken down? You join us again. And you'll see there's the lack of lack of in, and that's because he's behind me. But so far, that isn't a tow rope connecting the two of us. He didn't much like the idea of going on the dual carriageway, so there is a little-known rat run that allows us to avoid the dual carriageway for a bit, which suits a little French car. It doesn't quite so much suit the large German variety of car, however, because it is very much a one-track road. And you get lots of other lunatics like me in German cars going very quickly around blind corners and as a result we may or may not make it. Oh, horsey. Hello my love. I'm trying not 
no, you're not worried that something's going to fall off just because you've revved a little bit too hard. 